Welcome back to the show. It is 5 a.m. here in Texas on Thursday, and I'll tell you what, this entire community, Crypto X, Crypto Twitter, whatever you want to call it, is getting exciting or getting excited because everything is starting to slowly come to fruition. And I keep telling friends and family and people that keep asking me, is it too late to get into crypto? No. It is not too late to get into crypto. This is not financial advice. I'm a crypto teacher. And if you want to learn more, follow me on X, which is formerly Twitter, at Rule XRP. I'm the only one with the blue check mark. If somebody contacts you, James Rule XRP on X, and they don't have the blue check mark, they are a scammer. Please report them. Please block them. Please tell them to F off. Let's look at some exciting news this morning before I go to work. And rub in crypto to everybody. Today's episode is sponsored by iTrust Capital. I've been with iTrust Capital for four years. And what I did, 30 years of 401ks and retirement plans, I sent them to iTrust Capital in 2020. Now, with iTrust Capital, you have an investment IRA. You can create a Roth IRA with cash, or you can roll over existing 401ks like I did and invest in digital assets and precious metals. Well, I diversified everything four years ago into digital assets, and it has quadrupled my retirement portfolio in four years, thanks to iTrust Capital. Click on the link below. Tell them James Rule XRP sent you about. Let's look at these amazing, phenomenal, kick-ass numbers. Total market cap right now. Let me zoom up here. Come on. Come on, MacBook. Total market cap, $3,107,000,000,000, people. Look at the numbers here. Bitcoin is currently $91,046, up 21.69% for the week. Ethereum is $3,178, up 13%. Solana is $217. Dogecoin is 40 cents. XRP is almost 71 cents, almost 30% up for the week. You got Cordano, and I added Pepe. I bought a little bit of Pepe on Coinbase. They announced it, and I, instead of going to the casino, I bought some, some of this meme coin. It's up 107% for the week, people. 107%. Pepe was listed on Coinbase. I think Pepe was listed on Robinhood. I want to say uh, XRP, yes, was listed on Robin Hood yesterday. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people are starting to purchase cryptocurrency. Thousands and thousands of people are starting to see the headlines that cryptocurrency is something. I was watching Fox Live Now yesterday, and they had like a five-minute discussion about Dogecoin. I took a picture, a snapshot of the TV. It says, Dogecoin soars as Trump announces government efficiency group, Doge. And they interviewed this woman, and she talked about Doge, and she talked about Bitcoin, and she talked about all-time highs, and she talked about some exciting things. But you know what? Eyes are on crypto right now. And right now, not financial advice. I have to put this fucking disclaimer out there. I'll I'll get sued or whatever. (laughs) Right now is the opportunity. Right now is the opportunity to get these digital assets at bargain prices. I'm not going to tell you which ones to buy, which ones to sell, how high they're going to get, when to sell it, all that. I'm just going to tell you right now is a prime opportunity to jump on the crypto train. Check this out. First ledger DGN analyst. Got this out there. Top tier XRP influencers. The God tier is Joel Katz, Brad Gorlinghouse, CTO and CEO of Ripple. Alex Cobb, special ability of crashing XRP price via live streams. <laughs> Alex, don't do any more streams. John Deaton, XRP lawyer and ran for Senate versus anti-crypto Elizabeth Warren. Well, here's the S tier. They got me at the top. Thank you very much. At Rule XRP, number one XRPL educational content. You got Crypto Queen. You got Ellie Terrett, Fox News, crypto journalist, secretly owns a big bag of XRP. They just put that out there. Ben Armstrong. Ben Armstrong. I'm not even going to talk about Ben Armstrong. But they have a little graphic right here, and I'll click on it. You got Alex Cobb, and you got everybody with Ripple, and you got John Dean, and you got me right here. 
You got Ellie Terrett and you got, I mean, everybody in the community and it goes down to D, you know, influencers, rug scams. You got Gary Gensler, the dick. You got all these other individuals. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice because we're going to look at some cool things. Now, before you break out your Ellie Pal Titan, your Ledger Nano, your Zomin Sum wallet and all this stuff, and you get excited and you're like, okay, I'm going to cash out 500 XRP. I'm going to hurry up and send it over to Coinbase and, and I'm going to go ahead and cash it out. Well, there's something you need to know. Whenever you have a wallet on a centralized exchange, an XRP wallet to be specific, you have a destination tag. And with this destination tag, consider it your hotel room in the hotel. The default XRP wallet address is the exchange, the hotel. So when sending XRP to Coinbase, Uphold, uh, centralized exchanges, do not forget the wallet's destination tag. Now, if you have a private self-custody wallet, you're not going to require a destination tag because the default wallet address is yours and only yours. XRP Crow got this out on April the 18th, 2021, years ago, but we still use it. <coughs> Excuse me. So when sending crypto, say to Coinbase, you're going to put the wallet address at Coinbase in the wallet too. And then you're going to put your XRP tag, which will never change. It's your hotel room in the hotel in the XRP destination here. And you're going to send however many XRP you want to Coinbase and make sure the tag is here. Because if you don't include that destination tag, the wallet address, the default wallet address is going to take your XRP. And it takes sometimes weeks, sometimes months to get your XRP sent back to your hotel room or your wallet address on the exchange. A little FYI. Watch the video again. Okay, today Tether mints another 2 billion USDT, USD Tether, totaling $7 billion of USDT minted in the past six days. And I tweeted out or posted out, when Ripple USD, Ripple when RLUSD, the stablecoin, Ripple, hmm, is coming soon. Okay, here's an article here from Bitcoinist, and they interviewed Hester Peirce, a commissioner with the SEC. And at this point, years ago, they labeled her crypto mom because she's pro-crypto. She disagrees with the SEC. Well, honestly, as of today, I do not trust Hester Peirce. If she has that much swing as crypto mom and, you know, trying to say, hey, we need to do this. Why hasn't she had a huge influence at the SEC? Why hasn't she persuaded other members, including Gary Gensler, to adopt this technology? Is she getting paid under the table as well by the banks? Hmm. I'll leave a copy below. I'm not going to read it, but the article is, is the SEC prepared for Trump's crypto promises? Commissioner Purse weighs in i'll leave a copy below here's a good one for you from coindesk institutions go all in on crypto a signum survey reveals that 57 percent of respondents plan to boost allocations a notable 65 percent of the survey respondents are bullish long term with 63 percent mulling more allocation to digital assets look at this in the next three to six months if you have crypto in your wallet today and you're getting excited about a nickel increase or a dollar increase or a $2,500 increase, wait until the next three to six months. If you could hold it out long enough. Now, I understand a lot of you have put more money into crypto than you should have. Maybe you still have to pay bills. You still have to eat. But if you could hold it out, say, until the end of this year, the first quarter of next year, imagine just getting it out there. What if Bitcoin hits 150,000? What if Ethereum hits 5,000? What if XRP hits $3? Think about that. With your portfolio, in the next six months, my stomach's growling, I'm sorry, there's going to be some face melting, mind blowing totals make sure that you have a good cpa in the united states make sure that you have if you don't have one look into getting an llc 
and looking at getting a good CPA because there's going to be money coming in and you're going to freak out and you're going to say, okay, I can buy a Lambo. I can buy a mansion. Don't do that at the get go. Be smart. Do the right thing. Think about what you have, what you're going to do with it, how you're going to live off of it the rest of your life and be smart. Don't get in a hurry. And when sending XRP to an exchange, don't get in a hurry. Include that destination tag, people. I'm just trying to help you out because I'm a crypto teacher. My name is James Rule XRP. Thank you for watching the James Rule Crypto Show. Be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends and have a good day. And don't forget, I told you so.